The Golden State Warriors are making Silicon Valley proud, not just because of the wins they're racking up on the court, but also because they become an elite franchise in the business of basketball because of their data-driven approach. And the good news is your organization can become a more data-driven organization and absurd three-point shooting rage is not required. You see, there are plenty of success stories in this whole sports analytics revolution that has been going on for the last decade. And as I've been doing research into this area, I've been trying to figure out what lessons the management community outside of sports can take from this sports revolution. And so I found at this stage of the game, uh, four key best practices that uh, executives and other businesses might consider. The first is sports organizations are adopting a measured mindset when it comes to analytics. Now this may sound a little counterintuitive, but sports leaders understand that analytics are just one input into the decision-making process. A very powerful one, but sometimes, depending on the decision at hand, it might be past experience that helps inform that decision more, or it may be gut instinct. These sports leaders are understanding that analytics is part of an overall decision-making process. The second key best practices that, that we're seeing in the, in the sports analytics industry is that these leaders are focusing on the objectives. Now, this may sound simple, but at the end of the day, on the personnel side of a sports team, they're trying to win games, and on the business side, they may be trying to drive more revenue or um, ensure that the, the business runs more efficiently. In either case, analytics is another tool to help accomplish the objective of the organization. And that thought cannot be lost on other executives looking at this field. The third best practice that we've seen is investing in data collection technologies. Now, the NBA is a good example of this. There are now six cameras atop all the rafters in every single arena that are cataloging 25 frames per second of the play on the floor. These technologies didn't exist before, but now they're enabling new types of analysis on the game and the players that are most valuable. If you are trying to solve business challenges within your industry and the data technology does not exist, you have to push to try and find it and innovate it yourself. Final best practice that we've seen is that these teams are practicing effective data communication. Data means very little of us just sitting on a spreadsheet. In fact, it's the data scientists and the leaders that can actually explain why the data matters and what's actionable about it to, to players, to general managers, to presidents, to the sales staff that are really making the difference. So in summary, adopting a measured mindset, focusing on the objectives, investing in data collection technology, and then ensuring that data is effectively communicated are some of the keys that we're seeing from the sports analytics revolution. At the end of the day though, none of this matters if you as a leader are not driving the analytics agenda forward at your organization. Time and time again, we've seen that the strongest leaders are the ones that are getting the most out of analytics within their organization.